All right, y'all, so before we get into this lit video, y'all, I wanna shout out to my sponsor, Car Marshall. If you're looking for a new or a used car, click on the link below in my description and my pinned comment section, okay? CarMarshall.com will help you find and negotiate buying a new vehicle. You don't even have to negotiate anything. That's exactly what they're for. So make sure y'all go to the link in my description and also my pinned comment and go check out CarMarshall.com. Let's go ahead and get right into this spicy ass video. Let's get it. She mentioned me being disrespectful, which I never denied. And throwing stuff in her face, I never denied my wrong. But you're really trying to sit here and bash me. But let's take a step back, because I'm done taking ownership for that. You know, fuck that. Let's just step back and say, What is good, Diamond Dynasty, baby? Welcome back. To the mother friggin' video. There's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now. But I'd rather just be like right. Let's not go too soon now. I feel the same. And a lot of girls hate it right now. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I would rather pass that one to you. My way is to do. And today, baby, y'all like know what the fuck going on. In this goddamn video today, you guys wanted me to do a reaction to Receipts The End by Nay, okay? So Nay is coming back with another video, and it seems like they are just playing tennis with the videos right now, okay? So Nay is wanting to end all of this once and for all, but I don't think this is gonna be that easy. I do believe that Meech is gonna come out with another video explaining more things, maybe having her own set of receipts. I don't know, but I just do not think that Meech is just going to allow this to be the end and her not be able to defend herself in this. Y'all leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys think that Meech is gonna come with her own set of receipts and her own video responding back to Nay, or do you guys think that this video contains enough receipts and information to shut Meech up? I have not watched any of this video, letting you know. If you've already watched this video, let me know in the comment section down below. If you're watching it again with me, I appreciate you guys so much. But yeah, a lot of you guys have been spamming me to go ahead and react to this vid. So that's exactly what we're gonna do, man. I wanna go ahead and do my post notification shout outs of this video. They are going to go to DeAndrea Pinkney, Anna Green, and Gabrielle Roberts. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications turned on and for also leaving me love in the comment section down below. I really do appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you go to my description, go subscribe to my spiritual channel. I appreciate all of you beautiful people, all 13,000 of you who have already subscribed. Thank you guys so much. I will be going on there very, very soon. As y'all can see, I have been grinding like crazy on my main channel. So that is my main focus right now. I will be getting to the spiritual vids again very, very soon, okay? Make sure you also cop your Diamond Life, Diamond Dynasty, baby merch man i appreciate all of you beautiful people who have already purchased and everybody who is about to go purchase today baby thank you guys so much for supporting the movement make sure that you check your email guys for your tracking information so y'all know when your merch will arrive at your doorstep okay without further ado if you have not already make sure you join the dynasty baby subscribe to my youtube channel like this video comment your thoughts and opinions down below share this video with a friend hit that bell so you can be notified every time i post Another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the real diamond M and my backup page at the real diamond M M. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend, tell a friend, tell an angel, mama, tell an uncle Joe. That nigga's still a hoe. Let's get right into this motherfucker video. Let's get it, y'all. I'm gonna shut the camera off really quickly. I'm gonna put some pizza in the oven, y'all, because I, yeah, this is an hour long video, and you know what I'm saying? Hey, a nigga gotta eat, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I will be right. That. I know I'm real ratchet for keeping it on the foil. Fuck it. I don't care. I like ranch with my pizza. Let me know in the comment section down below if you fuck with ranch on your pizza. I also put hot sauce on it. Louisiana. And I got some hot Cheetos. I know it sounds weird. I'm finna be munching. Hopefully y'all got something to eat too. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are eating with me. Yeah, let me know what you eating. Let me pray for my food. Always pray for your food. It feels so good to be able to have a meal, man. Like, some people aren't as fortunate. Let's go ahead and get into this video, y'all. Okay, so I just watched a girl, the ex. This nigga said a girl. Video. Okay. And when I watched it, I was in total shock. Because I knew this person, I realized this person had certain ways. Mm. But I guess I was 
been in shock about what they were capable of. I'm gonna go ahead and give a rundown of the relationship that I was in. All right. Honestly, I feel like from that video, this person that person, oh, everybody crying, this shit. person trying like ah, with my character, with my whole character. Mm. And for one second, Bye. I actually started to like second guess it. Because when you see somebody cry, you you think it's real. So like honestly, it's, it's so are you crying because it's fake or? <laughs> Let me show. It's my fucking like I am strong and I'm going through and I was doing this every day. But when I see uh -oh. what the person said on the video, I oh, cut, I was in shock. The being in the relationship when I met when I met that girl, the story that we told y'all about. I'm sorry, guys. I just got out of the bed. I'm sorry. I don't. Nothing is right in my face. When I just got out of a relationship, when I when I just met her, I told y'all how I met her. I said to her that I wanted the opportunity to date and she was like if I was said I, but I like her but I wanted to take it slow because I wanted to find myself because I had just gotten cheated on but she said she was single for four years and that she wanted something so she would break down and cry to me and I'm a sucker like I'm I'm big on psychology I'm big on helping I, I like healing I'm a people pleaser I, I'm a nurturer so if you cry to me it somehow makes me forget about my personal feelings, which is this is something I'm really working on because honestly, I can no longer allow anyone to take advantage of my kindness. Oh, and wow. honestly, I don't care who believes me or not, but on God, this is the truth. And and I know that honestly, I would not curse her though she tried to curse me wow. because honestly, I don't want bad karma to come back to me in no type of way. I will continue to pray for her because honestly, she needs real help. When I first met her, I didn't want oh to Skinny do that. Tips. But though I didn't want to, I still went ahead. I would see girls in the beginning, and I wish I could DM these girls. But making me share cover photo, I'm saying, making her her cover photo, I would say, why is this girl a cover photo? She's like, that girl's obsessed with me. We're not together. That's in her head. And I'm like, how can all these girls just be crazy and acting like y'all together and really mean when they see me and do all of this. I even ended up on the train with some baby girl that had her story and then she ended up grilling me and talking crap. Trying to like bully me on the train, but I'm a boss. You ain't gonna bully me. I'm a fucking boss. That situation boss is crazy. I let it go because I thought these ex was crazy because let me tell you, she is so convincing when she put on that hair and when she tells you all of this stories about her, you have no choice but to believe because there was times when That's I knew that I was telling the truth, but I discredited myself and thought I was losing my mind because of the pressure thought maybe I was forgetting, maybe I was making up stories because she did that. She made me feel like that. Okay. And then, so in being in a relationship, I did not cheat on me, y'all. Okay. Me and me stopped talking because I told her that I was affiliated, that I feel like I don't want this in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And she forced me. She told me that nobody ever loved her. How every girl cheat on her, every girl leave her. So what did I do again? I go back to her. I was talking to this girl. Me and Meech was not together anymore. I'm talking about Meech had girls on her snap. Girls are making her breakfast, doing this, doing that. So I was doing me. I was talking to this girl, which me and the girl ended up being friends and stuff. I was not cheating. And I really wish I could call this girl right now and get my proof. Because she knows that I never cheated on Meech with her. I did not. Now's y'all time to shine. Hit up Nay, DM her. Me was in love with me and I didn't, it wasn't in love with her because we had just met and she fell really fast so I was conflicted. She mentioned some guy that I spoke to on the phone from jail. First of all, mm -hmm. if anybody knows this, I'm going to do psychology. I want to work with people in prison. So when I, when this guy calls me and tells me his situation, I'm being there from giving him advice. She doesn't want me. So I'm like, are you serious? He's in a situation that's not about me and you. It's about mental health. So I kept on talking to that person for a week, even in front of her face. It was nothing to hide. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. This person was doing life in prison. How am I cheating? So anyway. Mind you, in the beginning of our relationship, um, when she met me, there was this girl that she claimed that was her best friend. Mm, I hate that best and friend. And she told me it was all her ex, and that was her first love. Sorry, 
Sorry guys, I need to regroup. Yeah, but she told me that was her first love. And she told me that was her first love that broke her heart, that did this to her and that to her. I said, what did you do to this girl for her to break your heart? She said, nothing. So she turned me against the girl. I hated this girl because this girl was such a bad damn girl, right? So she kept talking to this girl. And though I asked several times, stop. She didn't until one day they ended up beefing. And now I recently found out that they were still messing around. And that, so I know now that you lied to me and that you left that girl the same way you did to me. Anyways, moving on. Okay. I never cheated on her with guys. Every time I would tell me, tell her that I'm not in love anymore, I'm not in love. Like I've tried to force myself to love her because. She always told me that nobody loved her. She always good tricked me with that. They both saying the same thing. They both saying they fell out of love <clears throat> and they was trying their hardest to love each other. Y'all should have left each other a long time ago. A statement and cried a little crocodile tears, so I felt. <laughs> so I sat there and I tried to force myself in a relationship. In the beginning of the relationship, we found out that she was a pathological liar. Cause what? she would tell me so many, so many, so many stories, y'all. So many stories. Path of life. And then I would always find out they were not true or I would have dreams. And I told her, and this is this is when I should have left. This is when I should have left. You remember the day when we found out you were a pathological liar? And you said that you was gonna go to therapy to get this fixed because you were out of obsession with life? Mm. And you told me not to give up on you and I told you that I cannot stay because you're never gonna stop lying. Her promise that you would stop. That's so I did not give up on you. Mm -mm. She mentioned me being disrespectful, which I never denied. And throwing stuff in her face, I never denied my wrongs. But you really try to sit here and bash me. But let's take a step back. Because I'm done taking ownership for that. You know, fuck that. Let's just step back and say, why was I disrespectful? I'm gonna I'm not gonna call anybody names because See everybody's trying to get a come up. I see everybody's trying to tear me down. So I'm gonna use nicknames. So the big man, I was like, why is it that I don't know your family? You know, I'm away from my family. I haven't seen my family in years. So whoever I date is very important for me to be a part of what they love because I want that family settings. Mm -hmm. She was not trying to introduce me to her family at all. She was like, there's one person that she wants me to meet, and I'm gonna just call that lady Tom. She's like, Tom, it should be the only person you should worry about. Everybody else, because my whole, all these people are selfish, all these people, this, that, 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 that to me. So, of course, I felt her pain, and I was like, damn, that's messed up. But, you know, I still want to be a part of the life that's near yours. Yeah, I tell her, yeah, that wasn't okay, you deserve better, all this stuff. Because when you hear the deep things that she tells you, that's the only advice. You're not going to be like, you know what, whatever. And then there's some days that I would tell her, you know what, just go work it out, find out. Even if you'll cut them off forever, just still find out why they did things that they did. So, I used to call her house phone because at the time she didn't have phone. And every time I would call the house phone, Peter, which is going to call the person Peter, would pick up the phone and this is what I would say. I would say, hi, how are you? Is it okay if I speak to this person? The person would suck their teeth and hang up on me. Mm. That has happened over 50 times. And each That's time, beautiful. all I did was cry. So I didn't give 50 up. Times. Mm -hmm. Because I was trying to be nice and I wanted to be a part of family. I was so desperate to be a part of that family that I was willing for that person to just disrespect me. I would just cry and say, how come you don't stand up for me? How come you don't tell them not to do this to me? And that person would not stand up for me. They would just allow the people to disrespect me. One day, I decided to go give it a chance again because I did not give up and try to be a part of her family. Because okay. I wanted her to be happy. I figured, like, you know, we all could, you know, just be together. It was to be good for Javon. So, so, I went on a date with Tommy. We're going to name this person Tommy, which is a family member. Okay. And I said, hey, I always thought that my ex wanted to hide me why is it that you know because me and the person me and tommy was talking like we're really cool that tommy was open tommy never disrespected me tommy was like oh the reason why you're not accepting my family is basically you're black and you're they what? think you're a hood rat what no the person that was hanging up on the phone me thinks i'm a hood rat oh and my only reaction was oh and once again i was not defended as i didn't i mean me just black too so 
with a pup. Table. I play golf cool, like a big girl, and goes, oh, I get it. People are always, <gasps> and kept it pushing. I then met, we're going to call this person Riri. I don't know how to pronounce them. The person that she said was the only person I should worry about meeting, I then met her. When I met her, this person was really nice to me at first. You know, everything kicked off. Everything was good. Until one day, I found out for the hundred million times that, that this girl started lying again. For the hundred and fifty thousand million times, <laughs> she lied again. The person lied to me. So, I was upset. And then, so that person, mind you, I didn't vent to anyone. Because every time when stuff happens, I usually didn't vent. I kept it in because I wanted to protect our family. And I am so believer. Maybe call me delusional. It's not delusional. I'm a protective soul. And I don't believe that anybody yeah. needs to be a Everybody part should know your business. of our <clears throat> argument. That's what I was thinking. So no matter what happened, though there were bad times, well, I thought it was good. But apparently from that video, there was no good. So I can't even say good. Huh? But in my little delusional mind, I thought there were good times. So I would always look at the good. Because I thought there was more but good than bad. But maybe that was just my little bubble. Right? Maybe I'm just crazy. Hey. So the, the person, I don't know what my ex told that person, but basically when the person spoke to me, I was like, I cried. I was like, here, she's lying to me again. She's always lying to me. And then the person looked at me and said, are you perfect? You always act like you're perfect. So I said, huh? Don't yeah. talk to me like that. My mom doesn't talk to me like that. So who are you to talk to me like that? Mm -hmm. So she would, I, so I felt upset because she sat there and allowed the person to just talk to me anyhow. And of course I talked back because I wanted to stand up for myself. So the next day I was like, you know, I'm so mad at you. I'm so sick of you just allowing everybody to treat me like a dog. And I keep fighting. So the person cried and said, you know what? I never defended you and I'm going to defend you now. Not so the dog. person respectfully, the person is the ex I'm talking about. Respectfully, when the person was like, hey, I believe that you deserve me an apology. She did nothing wrong. Uh -uh. I was the one no. that was wrong because, you know, she was the one that was You're lying. Trying to get on the pizza I, so then after that car, mm -hmm. after she told the person to apologize to me, I then received a text message in paragraph. Mm -hmm. And the message is sent. And I wish I had those messages, but sitting in my phone, that broke. So the message said, F both you little H O E, you're a son, you're a mm -hmm. bitch, mm -hmm. you're a you, oh my God. you're dead to me. Oh. What's up? All these stuff. Okay. And I'm not in fights. I'm not innocent. So I was like, first of all, who are you talking to like that? My family never talks to me like that. My family, I was raised in the church. I never heard my name, my mom. Like, I didn't even know my mom said a curse word or my grandma or whoever it is in my family said a curse word. Like, it was really shocking. So I was in shock. Like, what? I was like, wait, why did she speak to me like that? She then turned around and said to me, this is the way this person is. She just, she always goes up on people. She cuts the spring snarl. She runs away. She leaves. This is how she's painting this person a bad. And I was like, this is how they treat you all the time? Mm. That's toxic. Why mm. do you have this person in your life if they keep up and leaving, disrespecting you, flipping, and going crazy? Like, is something wrong with this person? She said, that's just how she is. And I was crying. I was like, I think you didn't defend me. And of course, once again, she never defended me. I had my back not once and mind you i have never allowed anyone to disrespect her i have always had her back a hundred percent if you disrespect her i cut you off in a second that's the type of loyalty i had that's my fault because why would i do that for someone that was not doing that for me so okay. basically all of these things of constant abuse and attack after one of being a part of the family and asking this girl can you protect me can you protect me can you do this can you do that and she's not, I became angry. I became angry because at this point I started loving her. And I wanted it to work so bad that I stayed. And she promised me that she'll change. She promised me that she'll make better. She promised me this. Also, there was times when females, I don't know if you guys remember a story time that we told, called my phone to speak to her. These were her friends. Turned out they were messing around. I did not bash this girl in the first video. I literally made that video because I thought it was okay. We agreed to make that video. The only part in that video that we did not agree was okay to say was the Javon part. And that's because before that, I had no idea that this would happen to Javon. But before I get into the Javon and bring out all my receipts, and Wait. hold on. Uh oh. Like I said, I became angry over the years. I was just being constantly lied on. I didn't know it was 
getting cheated on, though I was seeing all these girls, she always found a way to cry, and with Macron, it proved to me that there was nothing, it was always proof, because she's always plotting. So, yeah guys, this hair is dry. So, I became so angry over the years, I started going through depression, and no, she's not the first, she's not the reason why I originally got depressed, because I had depression in my past, but honestly, she brought it up and triggered a lot of things, hence the reason why I cut my hair off, because I was in so much pain, so much pain, and every time I was in pain, I had no one to talk to, because I could not tell my family what was really going on, I had to pretend to be so happy, cut your hair because I had to protect her, because of everything what? that she'd been through. She mentioned that. Um, I broke her ankle, <laughs> I don't even know what she said, but all the things that she said I did, right? <laughs> This is what really happened. When I found, when girls kept calling my phone and cursing me out and disrespecting me nonstop, I'll pick up the phone and this girl disrespected me. Uh -huh. I pushed her because I wanted to run out of the house and I wanted to run away because I'm a runner. Every time stuff gets tough, I want to run because that's the only way I knew how to deal with it because I didn't want problems. So I pushed her out the way. Okay. And you want to mention that I did all of that to you, Meech. You beat her with a broom. The day, the dude, right? Remember the day. You beat her with a broom. When I got the maintenance guy's number to come paint. And you were so insecure because you couldn't get ex left, you for a guy. Ooh. That you abandoned me in Javon in this city with all the shopping bags. You came home. I took a cab chasing you, fighting for a relationship. What did you do? What did you do? You grabbed my arm and you pushed me into the wall and my whole arm was bruised and I am black. I am dark skin. I am even bruised. Y'all, I'm sorry that I'm losing my mind right now. But for someone that did so much to me and no, she was not physically abusive. There was only two incidents with that. But that's because she thought I was doing something wrong. So she reacted and forgave that. I forgave that because she's not an abusive person. She don't beat me. Even though she's trying to make it seem like I am too. But whatever, it's cool. This it's is just cool. getting out of hand, yo. <laughs> Moving on. So like I said, every time we would argue, I would say things like, because she would hurt me. She would tell me all these things that these people are doing to her. And she would cry, how they leave her, how they give up on her, how they do this, how they do mm, that. No, They're yeah. never there, they deserve that. And every time they would do something to her, she would lay in my arms and cry. And they would hurt me. And she would allow them to get away with it. So I just became angry. And Leave the situation. Don't start beating her ass, my man. I can't even cry anymore. I, I just can't even cry my eyes because it's so hell? crazy. But, so I would be there for her. So every time they would be good again, she would throw me to the side. Or they turn her back to me to the side like I was nothing. Give me an attitude. No matter what I would do, it was never enough. It was never enough. I lost myself. I started gaining weight because I was so stressed out. But I never gave up because though I'm talking about the bad, and if you want to ignore that there were good times, that's on you. I'm going to tell my truth. I'm not going to allow you to make me lie. There were more good times than bad. The good times were perfect. The bad times were perfect. So I would just say perception is everything, so... While you might have thought there was a lot of good times and not, not a lot, not a lot of good times and not a lot of bad times, she might have been looking at it from a whole different perception. So you can't really judge how she's gonna take it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make her a liar. She could be very true to her feelings on that. I don't know who to believe at this point. All I'm saying is all of this shit could have been avoided and kept off the goddamn internet. But it is what it is. Let's keep it going. I mean, it was horrible. So. I would say things to her like, F you, this is why they do the things that you do, do they do to you because it's karma, it's coming back to you, F you, you're, fuck you, like I say all these things as everybody does when they're being mindful, like what was I supposed to do, that was the, literally the only way I had a voice, yes I'm loud, yes I'm crazy, but I did not have a voice, yes, I'm crazy. I did not have a voice, it's like, I would come to her peacefully. Because once upon a time, like we told you, we used to have civilized conversation. We used to talk and all like that. Like a dope. Once upon a time, mm -hmm. there was time when we wouldn't. She would switch. It's like it was different personalities. I was confused. So yeah, basically, I would say things so mean to her. But honestly, I would say it in pain. Because every time I would want to talk, I would go to her nicely. Like, the reason I'm upset is because the girl called my phone. Or the reason I was upset is like, you're flirting with these fans in a DM. The reason I'm upset is 
you, are you confusing me because you're showing me a DM about all these good things, but then there's some days there's stuff. So I only way was to react was for me to say that to her. And every time I would say that to her, I would say, you know what, I don't care because what they do to you is what you do to me. And I also said to her that, and every time it would calm down, I would apologize. Like, yo, I'm so sorry for saying that. But the only way for you to understand my pain is by that. What? You constantly told me in this relationship Being that with a uh, I'm too good of a girl and the reason why girl, that's not you know, the way to you do like it. the way you act is because you're tired of hurting me. You 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 said so many like you don't understand how much you mean to me words can't express that i know i made my dumb choices that hurt you but we go through our shit and always got each other this is going to be tough to get over no cap okay hey, things like that and, and you would tell me that i deserve to be the doctor you deserve to be a lawyer that everything you say is stupid i'm like no you do you belong with a doctor i see what i see what i see in you and that's that motherfuck shut up you're tripping you are smart enough she says, but not a lawyer, because they good liars, and you don't like liars. That was cute, lol. Also remember the shame, best friend. Stupid things, and you ignore my feelings, and act like you don't know. Are you serious? Okay, now you're turning me off. What you mean? And yes, but I feel like I push you to the edge, son. I feel stupid. Why can't I learn? Oh my god, here you go again. You know what? Fuck it. Why is it so hard to be good, but easy to fuck up? Y'all, look, both of y'all motherfuckers don't need to be in a relationship like at that point, you should have known that she need to get her own mental right. She on some other shit, okay? You obviously have certain things that you was dealing with internally, too. We just don't need to be getting in these relationships just because we fucking lonely or we want to put our burdens and our problems and our vulnerability. Well, not vulnerability. It's fine to be vulnerable, but especially with the one that you love. But stop putting your insecurities on to other people, man. Work that shit out. Heal your own trauma before you try to come in a relationship and traumatize yourself even more and then traumatize the person that you're with. God damn it. I'm just saying, like, the moral of this story is we should have been broken up a long motherfucking matter of fact we should have never got together in the first place but anyway let's continue go and flip it on me and manipulate me because every time i voice my opinion that's when you bring up something that i did wrong and i've constantly told you like yo don't bring it up when i'm i'm already mad that's not fair bring it up on the regular and hence the reason why i always check them with you like is everything okay is there any bother you say no you're doing good you're the realest person on my team so i didn't like no me and you i don't care what you want to say was good before the threesome oh before the threesome not anymore if i was your best friend we wouldn't be going through this right now that's it crazy something but true your actions is why this is like this we go through shit i do still accept the apology you gave but never leave each other's side, okay? I am a one woman person, and you know that. Whether you want to take that from me, and so were you. I never once said you were not one woman person. You wanted a threesome. Uh -huh. And I also admitted to agging it on, and hence the reason why I said I take responsibility. Because when I did fully decide to do the threesome, I would hag it on. I never discredit that. But don't see me and say that this is my idea. You're the one that kept on saying, oh, polygamy. When I told you, I don't huh? want it anymore. Oh, Isn't this the real reason why we broke up? Because you want polygamy? Why are you lying? What do you get out of lying? This is not okay. No, baby. So, like I said, this person was a fan. Like I said. And, like I said, you were talking to other girls in the DM. No, like I said, we were happy before we decided to do the threesome. But you... When we decided to do this threesome before that, we were happy. That's the reason why I did it. We went back and forth for so long about don't want to do it. I kept on saying I don't want to do it because I wasn't sure. And you would get upset at me and said, don't bring it up anymore because I keep having it on. But then some days I would, um, you know, some days I would say no, which was kind of wrong. But at the same time, if I change my mind, deal with it. You're in a relationship. So what? Okay? So what? Next thing is... When we finally decided to do it and she finds the girl, like I said, they were talking for like two days and the girl was talking about being girlfriend and stuff like that. Another thing that you forgot to say, I was there for their whole conversations. And the one that I wasn't there for, she would send me proof, okay? The girl said, uh, they stopped, Nish told me that they stopped talking because I witnessed them stop talking. They had an argument. Well, hi. Right. I've never seen someone act like that. That shit is mad weird. I've known you for like a second. 
I see what you're trying to do. That's our last phone call. Trying to do it, you really think you're something? Don't be talking like that and then changing up your words. Don't let YouTube get to your head, baby girl. I talked to bigger people before. Oh, wow. Wait, the girl said on FaceTime. Okay. Oh, you just like treat your fans? And she did say that. She did say that. God knows that. You know that. And I know that. And everybody else knows that she did say that. So I said to you, hang up on her. Hang up on her. Hang up on her because she's trying to expose you. I said, do not unfollow her. I never once said that. You said, I told you to unfollow her. I said, don't unfollow her because she might expose us. <laughs> we were still together. You, that argument, you claimed it was the last one that you were done with her because she was acting psychotic. All this thing, we both agreed, we both joked on it, and that was that. We called my friend, we told my friend the situation, both of us. You were telling your side and trashing her, and I was telling my side about everything that was happening, so don't act brand new now. Next is, next is, you, the next morning I wake up, my phone blew up five times. I got five minutes call, I'm like, yo, this girl called. It's their call. He was like, what? She's mad crazy. Come to find out when I spoke to the girl on the phone, the reason why she called is not because she's crazy, it's because you let her on. I don't pay this girl no damn mind because I honestly don't give two shits about her. I don't blame mm -hmm. her for the way she's reacting, though I feel like she's fouled and as a woman, she has no class for that. But at the same time, I don't care because at the same time, you convinced me and turned me against everybody. I carried your pain and anger for years, for years of what everybody did to you, the whole world, you're a victim, okay? I carry that with me. Okay. So I understand that you're pretty, pretty convincing. To the point where I started questioning if I was telling the truth. Mm -hmm. But I know I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm. And you will no longer, you will no longer, I will oui. no longer, no longer protect you. I will no uh -oh. longer protect you. Uh oh. When I found out about this girl, my first initial reaction is obviously F you. Bye, I'm done. I also tried to have a level of heavy head <clears throat> conversations with you, but you're going crazy. I did find you downstairs on the phone with her. You mentioned that we weren't together. So let me explain the fact that we weren't together. Huh? When her and the girl cut off, I asked her the next day because she started having an attitude. What's going on? She said she's pissed. I guess because she felt played and she really wanted to smash and she's mad that she got played and the girl trying to expose us. That's why she said she's pissed. So don't sit here and say, why would that make sense if I never stopped talking to her? That's because you told me y'all stopped talking. You know you told me y'all stop talking. Okay? I would have never been okay with this at all. Okay. So the next thing you did was, I found out about her. You immediately, immediately in my face and said, there's something you have to tell me. I said, I don't want to hear it. I know you're in the manipulation game. Don't try to switch it so you can say you told me. You ain't tell me nothing. But mind you, throughout these weeks of her talking to her, three weeks, and don't say it wasn't two, it was two to three weeks. Okay? It was two to three weeks since y'all been talking. I will try to find those receipts and I will post them because it's in my phone. Because my phone is what you do use your dirt to do. Did you forget that when you were telling your story that it's all in my phone? Okay. If I have that, I'm going to put it on the screen. The next thing is, you said that we're not together. The day when you started asking about saying, you know what? Do you want to be in this relationship or not? Because ever since you and this girl stopped talking, you're acting up. You said it's your depression. I said, really, your depression, you're depressed? You said you think you're falling into depression. I said, oh, wow, that's crazy. You know what? This is how you know we're really meant to be. You want to know why? Because as soon as I got out of depression and you were there for me, which you are a big part of my depression cause, let's be really real. I did not say none of this in the oh video. None of this. Oh but you want to sit here and lie on me? I will no longer protect you. And the problem is you made this video because you know that I'm the type of person that if I'm lied on, I will shut down sometimes, then fight for what I want to say because I just think that nobody's going to believe me. I have fear of not being believed. So you knew what, that I would just shut down because I would feel like no one would believe me because you know me. You know what I've been through. So you're using that against me. But no more. I'm a different woman. And you made me realize, so thank you for that. Right before I also found out about her, my, right, before I found out about her, I told you, I said, you know what? I have all these attitudes. I really don't know if I'm in love with you anymore. Given the fact of everything that we've been through, I don't know. You broke down. You cried to me. You said, I knew you was going to give up. Why can't you love me? Why do you always fall out of love with me? I said, because you've been hurting me. First, you got to fall in love with your motherfucking self, okay? And that goes for both parties. I need to fast forward to the actual receipts where she's talking about, uh... Javon, all right. Let's see where we at with it. 
Um, she got a whole bunch of receipts in this motherfucker here. Meek, she might be raps, okay? Um, let's see. <coughs> when you lay up sometimes, you would cry to me. And you ask me that whatever you say, this is just happening. We're fighting. So what are you talking about? But I realized you're plotting and you're trying to get receipts. I blame that on you because you're going to ask me to do that. But I didn't take the initiative to do it because I'm a nurturer and I love to feed a person's ego and I love to feed a person. I'm making the person that I'm with feel good. And then we go to therapy and work it. Are you okay? What the heck? We were in a relationship. So I said I asked mm -hmm. you not to talk to her. What's the problem? Wait, like, why would I want you to talk to her now? Like, what? So I said, you said thank you so much. These are your words. Did you forget? Thank you. For loving me. Thank you so much for being here for me. I appreciate you. You're always there when nobody else is. You then went to Javon's room. And we're telling Javon that you're leaving. My son threw himself on the floor. And started crying like a baby. So I started crying. She started crying. So I thought, wow, she really loved my son. Like, I want to co-parent. She said to her, I'm leaving for a few days and I'll be back with gifts and Rice Krispies or Crips Rice Krispies or gifts. Uh, like one of those, okay? Rice Krispies. And you said, I promise. And you handed a crown, the crown I gave to you, and said, keep that as a placeholder until I get back. You broke that promise. You showed one of the stupid text messages. Such a manipulator of me saying I got to take Javon away from you. If you guys really read, I said you have to take Javon away from you because you're hurting him. It's one thing to hurt me, but you're hurting him. So clearly she was doing something wrong. Now the reason why I said that is because for the past two to three weeks since she's been talking to this new girl, she has not been showing up to dinner. She would tell Javon, like, I'm going to go downstairs and... I'll be back in an hour or so, whenever it's dinner time, she'll tell me to call her because she doesn't want to miss dinner time because she knows how important this for Javon. Mind you, prior, she was showing up to dinner, so I'm not going to make it like she was always out of Javon life because she was in Javon life and doing good. She was. So I started saying stuff like that to her. Like, yo, why are you doing that? Because Javon would be waiting. Javon doesn't want to eat, which I think I have a text message of me saying Javon doesn't want to eat right at start. Uh -huh. I'll throw text messages. I don't know where I'm going to put the text messages. But I'll put That's cute. She said he's loyal. Oh, it's okay. What do you mean it's okay? I'm coming in five. Wanted for us to eat with Javon. I understand you're sad, so you can go back when you eat. I right. we started eating. He's hungry. Open the door, please. And there, of Javon <clears throat> saying that. Okay. Well, don't forget he has bed soon. It's 8:43. I started the food already. 7:44. He's hungry, so I have to give him now. Where you at? What's going on? He rather just stay hungry than eat. And you make him wait for like 20, 30 minutes, sometimes five minutes, sometimes you wouldn't show up. I was sorry you breaking his heart. This was random, but I thought it was a depression, so I forgave you and I took over and I always found excuses for him. Because when I was depressed, you took care of Javon. So I never, and at the end of the day, I was so thankful for you to help me with Javon because he was not your obligation. But there was times that I asked you and I said, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that, but you insisted. Um, I protected you so much for these years. She mentioned that I took everything away from her. I had no idea that she was never coming back. And not only that, a few days before she left, she crashed the car and never paid for it, left that responsibility on me. Not only did she crash the car, she traveled and put a lot of tolls on it, over $400 worth of tolls, never gave me some of the money, and left me to pay for that. There's plenty of things that I have to cover that was all hers. Hey, this was our last conversation. In my eyes, everything was good. Mm, and no, she completely no. ignored Javon. She claims that she's been calling Javon. It's not true. And I think I'm going to go to at and <laughs> I'm not sure and pull up the call logs. But if not, this conversation will also prove. And I'm also giving you a disclaimer that I look like a psychopath and a stalker <laughs> writing her and calling her. But at this point, it was not about me. It was about my child emotions every day. You said that you were calling three times a day to look out for the call. This boy took my phone and was looking. Mom, is it this time? Mom, is it that time? Mom, is it this time? And I had to let him call you because I could not, though I know him to hurt, I could not allow him to think that I was taking you away. So I allowed him to feel. But then I protected him and I stopped him after a while. I 
even tried to come to a cordial deal. I tried everything. You walked out this house. I never knew it was beef. I never knew you felt this way. You were plotting for weeks. You were plotting for months. You used me. You abused me. And you lied. These are the text messages as proof. I was willing to look past every single thing that me and Meech went through for the sake of Javon. Now, you mentioned that I took away the YouTube from you. I never took away the YouTube from you. This was your decision. You're saying you gave me the car and the apartment. Yes, that's a positive that I have that. I didn't kick you out. But at the end of the day, you left all these bills on me in a time, our hardest times. And you know what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to put my business out here. You left these, these bills on me. You think it's all fun and games having thousands of dollars to pay each month when we build this together? When before we moved to this apartment, I told you that I didn't want to move it together. You forced me to talk about why do I want to wear family? Every time I made a decision, you took that decision away from me. Every single time. This is me. She never tried to reach out. She never tried to reach out. She never called me for Javon. I tried my best. I tried my best to let her be in Javon's life. I was always open. I did not throw out her clothes, even to now I still did it. Because I'm not a malicious person. Though she's moving malicious and doing all these evil things, stubbing me and doing whatever she wants, I still don't bash her. I still didn't bash her. So that's the truth. So when y'all say that I made a video and bashed her, this is the truth. I did not bash her. In fact, I protected her. Yes, I always wanted to protect our brand. So everything I would say, remember, we got to protect our brand or don't make it look like that way because who doesn't? You're acting like that's a bad thing for me to do. I want to protect my brand. That's okay. Cool. You also said that you never leave the bills in my name and all this stuff. I did not have no passwords. You are the one that changed the password to, you had the password to the rent, the car, for every single bill. I wrote you several times asking you about the bills, like, hey, can I have the password? You receipt, you refused to give it to me. And you didn't even say, like, oh, I don't have the password, you did not reply to me. Every single day, I had to sit there until I found, got my password. I couldn't do it right away because my phone was broken because I found out you had girls in your DM, and I found out what you were doing, and you lied to me, and you left. You just did so much that day, which I don't want to go into details about because, listen, I just can't. It's going to be too much. It's too much. What I'm telling you it's is too much. Too, that that damn too much. Okay. Shit. <clears throat> Yo, it's so crazy. Throughout this relationship, I kept on falling out of love with you. Kept on asking me. You never told me that you were in love since that time. I've asked you several times were you in love. You were chicking and you... It's because it's like, if you were not in love, why would we talk about a threesome? But I get it now. It was your way to be out. You could have said the said to me like... Comment down below, what is your definition of being in love? Like, what is being in love? What the fuck is that shit? Like, everybody has their own definition of what being in love is. Their own certain criteria for what being in love is. But I feel like, I don't know if I've ever been in love. Because what is being in love? What, what is it? You know what I'm saying? Or maybe I have. Maybe I've been deeply in love. But... There is really no real definition for it. I feel like it's just everybody's perception of what being in love is or a certain feeling that they have or whatever the case may be. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Like, yo, honestly, <clears throat> let's come up with a plan. Let's, let's really come up with a plan. Yes, we said, you know what, let's be big business partner at ours and we're going to do this and we're going to do that. But we never really truly follow through that. You should have really came up with a plan. Because this was not right. You owe me half of the bills. It's not okay. You just decided to do this. You are willing to fight me for a YouTube channel, right? Knowing I have bills to try to take away the YouTube channel from me. But not once did you say you're going to try to fight for Javon. You said that you can't reach out to me because I will argue with you. You know I'm not. You know I don't love you anymore. You know the reason I stuck around was because of loyalty. And I loved you unconditionally through my actions regardless of how I felt. Okay, regardless of how I felt. I worked super hard. Every time there was a business deal, you left it on me. You, I had to come up everything. I don't want to put this out here, but I have worked extremely hard. Extremely hard what did for I the say, both girl? of us. You put everything out Every anyway. Every interview, but... and if they're watching this, they can say, I had to be the one to figure out to make business deal. I had to interview people. I had to do every single thing. You left every single thing on me every single thing so i said you know 
passwords. You be the one that control the passwords. Because that's the reason why I didn't know the passwords. I know that's irresponsible of me, but when you're taking up every single thing else in the house and everything is on your stress on your partner is killing you, I crashed. I ended up in depression. My, the way I had to save my life was cutting off my hair. <gasps> you're such a liar, and I'm so tired of the lies. I did not lock you out of this YouTube channel. I also gave I'm you the option going. to ask you what no, to do with the YouTube channel. You kept ignoring you know, me. I kept calling. What was I supposed to do? I need to pay my bills. You left me when all the bills were due, and I have to pay that on my own. I'm independent. I, like, come on. What did you expect me to do? What did you expect me to do? <sighs> Boy, come on. Boy. Come on. I be very real. You're willing to take my card. And it's so crazy, right? It's so crazy because every time we would break up, I would give you a bank card with money on it. And I would be like, take this. Uh, oh my God. Facebook to stay to get this film so you're good. The reason why you have a bank card is because you chose not to. I try to let you get your life together. I try to let you do this. I try to let you do that. I try to let you see things over this and nothing would work. I felt like girl if you ain't got no bank card baby girl what is you doing with your life you know i'm not judging you meech because i don't you know maybe she'll have receipts at the end to prove this but everybody need a bank card my nigga you know what i'm saying you need a bank account you need a bank card bitch a debit card mother you ain't gotta have no credit card because you know credit already fuck your ass up well you need it anyway but still at least have a motherfucking debit card you know what i'm saying like swipe swipe you know like Apple Pay, something like that, you know, like, or a Cash App card, something, you know, net spend, I don't know. This situation is getting out of hand, and yeah, I don't know if Meech is going to respond at this point, because she really is laying everything out on the line, so if she does respond, then she's got to come hard, 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 okay? Like, I, was in a, I felt like I was in a relationship with my child, I kept telling you, like, I want to feel like I have a partner, you know, I help him with anything, you're leaving every single thing on me, like, and at the end of the day, we're splitting the money, like, why do you leave everything on me? I told you that. I wanted you to get your life together. You just wanted to do what you want to do. You gave, I couldn't love myself anymore. I was angry. I was bitter. I just was talking shit about everything. I was just a mean person because everything we've been through just changed me as a person. I had to raise this girl. I had to start over from scratch, teaching her what's okay to say, what's not okay to say, because she never understood what's okay not to say. Everything, when I'm trying to study, I have to study the knowledge so I can tell her. Because she's not willing to go out there and learn. I'm born because all I want to do is burn my vocabulary. You weren't interested in anything that I did, but I changed the music I like for you. I changed everything to accommodate your lifestyle to see you smile. Well, I mean, that's really your fault, to be honest, you know. And it seems like on both ends, they just needed to have more self-love. Because you got me fucked up. I like what I like. It takes your individuality away and you start to resent that person. Like I said in Meech's video, you know, if you stay around while getting beat with brooms and shit thrown on you and bleach clothes and all this shit, if you stayed around, you have nobody to blame but yourself. I'm not saying what she did was right, but you stayed in a toxic situation. You didn't love yourself enough to leave. Same thing with the situation that Nay is saying. You try to change yourself or mold yourself into something that your partner wanted you to be. If your partner doesn't appreciate certain things about you, if they don't appreciate what you have to bring to the table, what you have to offer, y'all are probably just not a good match for each other. You should never go changing who you are, your core beliefs, the choice that you like to, you know, the, the music that you like to listen to. When you start doing that, you're not even being true to you anymore. You're abandoning yourself for somebody else. So I would say self-love is the best love, like always, man. Let's try to get through these last 10 minutes. This shit is exhausting. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, at this point, just fuck it, guys. Just move on. You know what I'm saying? At this point, it obviously did not work. I wish both of you guys the best. I'm praying for y'all. I should have got my sage once again, but... Mom, because you were always sad. And yes, I was sad too. <clears throat> but it's like, be real about what happened. I did not come on the video and not tell the truth. I edited the whole story. 
and I tried my best to tell my truth without telling the true truth because I did not want to bash you. All you did in the video was lie to me, lie on me. You could have said anything, like the mean things I said, like the yelling and screaming, but every time I yelled, this is the thing that she would do. I would clean the whole house, and I'm like, all you have to do is clean the room. Can you just at least clean that? And she'd go days without cleaning. So I would get annoyed. When I clean, she just puts her stuff everywhere. Be downstairs, okay. Remember, you said you were going to clean the room. I cleaned everywhere else. The room is bothering me. Is Javon there? Not yet. I'm waiting. Look at the time of three to okay. Messes it all over. Messes up the place all over. I try so hard to just keep it clean. So at one point, I stopped cleaning completely. And when I stopped cleaning, this house was a mess because nobody else was going to clean. I had to get my life back and started cleaning because I could not live in filth. So the best relationships is when you work as a team, man. Like if one person is not really the chef of the situation or the chef of the relationship, then sometimes, you know, other person might want to help out and be like, babe, you always cook. Let me try to do a little something, you know, a little tacos, nachos, really ramen noodles, something like that to show your effort. Just like, you know, if Nay was cleaning all the time, do your best to help her out when you can, you know, it, whether it just be a room or whether it be the whole house one day. All right, y'all, I'm back. My camera died. Let's go ahead and finish up this video, man. I don't know if I leave out anything. And Girl, you said it all. Trust me. I don't care about no other receipts. I don't care if she has me on video killing a, I don't know, what? a dog. That's a wild accusation. You know, I'm just throwing something out there. I'm killing rat. Maybe it's cracking always, me up. Just, no, it's always edited and it's always manipulated. <laughs> Yeah. You turn me against everyone, <laughs> and I realized something. The reason why no one likes me is because you turn them against me. When I spoke to that girl that night, you sat there and told her all my personal, personal business. I have still not yet to tell you. Never go back and tell or speak bad upon your girl's name to a side bitch or to anybody, to be honest, to friends or anything like that, because you don't want them to be perceived in a negative way. And then you look dumb as fuck too because you're with the bitch, so. Your personal business. I mean, girl, you know there's a lot and I'm not saying. You could go ahead and take me to court, but I have my proof that I tried hard. And I don't care if you come with me with a million lawyers. And it's so funny you're coming with me with all the people that hurt you and I was there for. And I fed you when you ain't had nothing to eat. I made sure you was good. I was your rock every day. I was getting you dressed because you are depressed and I was getting you dressed for you to go outside and talk to the female. I'm not gonna allow you to choose the type of person I get to be because I have never denied my flaws and I will continue walking in my truth. And though I didn't tell every single thing you did to me, just know I am definitely gonna write a book and you will be in there. You can take me to court, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. She gonna go, uh, what was the girl name, y'all? Uh, super hit on your ass. I'm not gonna fight you. You do whatever you want. But since you left, God has been blessing my life. And you might have everybody else around you, evil, whatever, fighting with you. But I got God, the universe, and myself. And I'm not sure. I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is. But there's no way, no way, no way on earth you're gonna go through it. But I really, really hope this universe and God has mercy on you. Because though you can bash me, so you can do this and you can do that. I don't feel like no human being deserves certain things to happen to them. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart when I say, I wish you all the best. I am so happy. I used to put butterflies on my story. I used to be crying out for help and no one knew what butterfly meant. And you'd come to me and you'd be like, why do you always put, want to put butterflies? And, I'm, and you knew that it meant freedom to me because I wanted to be free. But guess what? Free now, I am now a butterfly. I did not take Javon away from you. I will never take Javon away from you. My child, I have to wake up every day while trying to keep this bliss afloat to hear my child cry. And I still have a bad you to him. I still accept whatever he says because it's not about you, it's about my child's emotion. And you are no longer to change who I am. This is my truth. Who cares? Person that you help 
as long as you know your truth, everybody else's doesn't matter. Everybody else's opinion doesn't matter. As long as you know in your heart what you're doing and what you are saying is accurate and correct, you have nothing to worry about. So much <laughs> coming in this camera and lying. And lying. You know that I can't, like, I don't want to deal with negativity. And it's so funny. It's like, no matter how much you're fucking me and lying on me and spreading my name on camera and bashing me to everyone, it's like, no matter what, I can't land in depression. But when I was with you, all I did was land in depression. You want, your mission was obvious. You want problems. You could have spoke to me off camera. I tried a million times. And I did not want our relationship anymore. Every time I wanted out, you sucked me back in. Every time I didn't love you, you sucked me back in. I know in. how that is. I ain't gonna hold you. This is the second time you telling me you were through shit. this phase. And you know exactly what I thought we wasn't over. I don't love you anymore. <laughs> I'm crying because you are the person that I started with, that I fed, that I had to get up and go get it. And when we were struggling, you would not get up to go get shit. You would not get up to go get shit. You put up with it though. And I don't know so, if I left out anything. Just but I don't, I am done. On. It's obviously you want to capitalize on that. My advice videos, what if I have, has nothing to do with you. And I'm making this video because I feel like I did not tell the truth. I did not tell the real side. So you're right. Whatever, call it lies. But I told that to protect you. And for the first time, you so good protecting me. Like, it feels so good protecting me. Yeah, you gotta be there for yourself before anybody. But I will move forward. I never tried to take anything away from you. I never did. And I really, really hope God in this universe has mercy on you. I am no longer gonna reply to you. I am gonna live above because I want to inspire and I don't want to be a hypocrite. But years I was something I'm not because of you. Because of you, you always guilt trip me. I, you guilt trip me for the past to be sucking my. I don't want to just have whatever amount of body. I'm not gonna put that out there. So I felt bad that like, you need more body. So I was this and I was like everything I did for you. And it's so funny. In the end, it's like I would have seen a bullet coming, and I would have jumped in front of you to only realize that you were pulling the trigger. I'm done. Also, guys, I know this color looks terrible, but I don't have time to fix this. I also want to add this. Before she walks out the door, this is what she said to me. She said, please, can you pay? give me $400 to pay my phone bill? The day she moved out, but I didn't know she was moving out. She said, can you give me $400 to pay my bill? You're the only person I have in my corner. You're the only person I could trust. Those things are bad, so can you please hold me down? $400 for What the fuck was you I doing on the phone? I covered my ears because I'm normal punk, and I'm just going to give it. I said, no, 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 please don't tell me, let me hear, because you know it's not fair, you took everything from me, you always hurting me, and you violated and cheated on me, and, and, and all this stuff, and manipulation, so no, you say, you know what, you said, you know what, you're right, you're right, I'm sorry, two minutes later, you asked my mom, I told my mom not to give to you, you know what my mom says? Because you, you know, you've been treating all of us, no, you have to give her the $400, regardless of what she did, the bigger picture is, Nobody's there for her. You played us. You played us. You played us. But you said you would give us back the $400 the next day. We never got that back. You also used my suitcase. You never brought my suitcase back. Just remember that. <laughs> Where's that $400 that you owe me? That is hilarious, bro. Or should I report it to my <laughs> bank as fraud to use my cards? But I'm not that type of person. Because I only want good to come to me. I am not innocent, never claimed to be. I could get crazy out the mouth. I could yell and scream when I'm frustrated. But I'm damn mom. sure in what you paid me to be. And that's it. I am done with this situation. I'm moving on. I am moving on forever. <clears throat> the combo we had when she walked out the door. Yeah, I'm sleep. What about you? Laying down. Are you still on the bus? Yes, it was delayed. Okay, well, you were out. Honestly, I'm not driving. Okay. But well, what time is Javon KO? Ain't it Sunday? That's crazy. You going to bed at nine? Okay, what happened? Uh, it just came late. What just came? It was delayed. I'm gonna call from now because my phone is dying. These plugs ain't working. Okay, what time did you bust late? 
What time did your bus leave? Wait. Um, what time did your bus leave Baltimore? Hope you find a charging spot and on the phone after I asked you about her. I wanted to say no more lies, please. But no more broken promise. I didn't want to say you can get battery. But anyway, Bobby, say stay strong. Kick depression ass and be the old you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Keep your head up and do your thing. Do things that make you happy. Okay, so me, you can't talk right now what happened, why not? And that was Javon calling, shit, I, shit I'm in the train. He took a train? Wow, well, okay, uh, all right, he's <clears throat> asking about you, so I wanted you to do a countdown thing with him. Let, like, tell him how many days you are coming so he can count down and stop asking me because I got to keep telling him. Did you get my last message about Javon? Of course you did. Why are you doing this to Javon? I'm trying not to bother you and let you get your break, but you posted on Instagram and didn't reply to Javon. Message or phone call. Are you in Cali or NY at this point? I never thought you would leave Javon to process all those promises you made before you left. This boy is over here crying every second, saying, why aren't you calling him? Why would you do this if you know he's already going through a lot? Call your damn son. Oh shit, she getting aggressive now. Man the, fuck, man, the fuck up. He is hurting. He feels like his mother walked out of his life. Why can't you make this easy being there? He wants you meet. I can take care of bills, even though it's not fair. But I'm good. Javon, it's not okay picking a random female over your child. You understand that pain. Who? Yeah, so she was trying to reach out now from what it looked like. <sighs> I'm on my way, huh? Read what I said. It's not bad. If you're worried about me talking about this, I won't. I don't want to fight, argue. Okay. Keeping Javon home from school. Okay. I will call one last time and then I'll fly. Let him know you will. I will let him know you're not coming back. Okay. Um, I just think. You got a girlfriend now, cool. Why you can't keep her, but also Javon. I'm gonna stop writing you, but he keeps crying. Okay. Let's hold for one second. I was defending you. Okay. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Okay. Damn, I'm not gonna read all this. Y'all can stop and read if y'all want, or y'all probably already saw saw this, but. It looks like um, this is a lot of proof that she was reaching out, trying to get them to talk, you know, trying to get Javon and her to talk. Certain passwords that I need, blah, blah, blah. It's crazy. And, of course, these screenshots could be altered, too, and she could be texting somebody else, but, you know, I don't know, guys. This whole situation is crazy. Like I said, from jump, I'm not taking either side. I think this is just an unfortunate, unfortunate situation. Hopefully, they both will learn something from it. The next text message is from before she left. Okay. I want to use that. Be. Oh, I already saw that. Okay, we saw that earlier. You put that in the um, beginning. Feel better, meat. Food is ready. Let's the music. Okay, you're sad. Okay. All right, I'm done with this video, y'all. Um, y'all leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys think that Meech is going to respond. Or do you think that she's just going to leave it where it's at because, you know, she really doesn't have anything to say or maybe she doesn't have proof or receipts of her own? Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel. This is a crazy situation. I ain't going to lie to you. I hope that both parties learn, grow, evolve from the situation, heal from the situation. I really hope that they both go into their past traumas, heal those, like I always say, man. Go back in your past, heal those traumas. So you will be able to start fresh with somebody and you'll be able to attract somebody who, is, who has healed their trauma too and y'all can actually have a healed and healthy relationship, you know. Leave me a comment down below, man. Let me know how you guys feel. This is an unfortunate situation, like I said, but it is real life. The only difference is they are public figures. Love you guys so much, man. Make sure if you have not already joined the Dynasty, baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Share this video with a friend. Hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the real diamond M and my backup page at the real diamond M M. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell angel mama to tell Uncle Joe. That nigga's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. And we out. Yeah, I'm trying to fuck with you.